Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Little Church. As you can see, Jazzy's joining me today to help us learn more about this very special time that our church is in. Let's begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God in heaven, you put courage in the apostles by giving them a glimpse of the, that, of the victory that would be won by your Son after his death. Make us always true to him. Make quick to overcome our fear and trust in his resurrection. We ask you to do this through Jesus Christ who lives with you in, and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So as I said, our church is in a very special time right now, a time called Lent, where we learn through the gospel and the readings just how much Jesus loves us. We also enter into 40 days of a time where we draw closer to Jesus. So how do we do that? And why is it 40 days? 40 days represents the time that Jesus was in the desert, where he fasted for 40 days and he drew closer to God our Father. So over the next 40 days, we do special things like maybe giving something up for Lent, maybe saying no to an extra treat. And during that time, we think about Jesus and what he did for us. Perhaps we say an extra prayer each day. Maybe if we pray in the morning, maybe we could add a prayer in the evening, or maybe add a prayer during um, when we're having a meal, say grace, um, or do something extra kind. Jazzy, is there something you're doing over Lent to help draw closer to Jesus? Every night I pray a decade of the rosary. Excellent. That's beautiful. So let's read the first reading from Romans. This is a reading from the letter written by Paul to the Romans. If God is on our side, who will be against us? Surely not God, who is willing to give up even Jesus so that we would be saved. God has saved us through Jesus and will always bless us. No one can take that away from us. Who will keep us away from heaven? Surely not Christ Jesus, who died and was raised to life, and now with God to help us. I am sure that nothing will ever take us away from the love of God, not death, not anything in life, nothing now or in the future. Nothing in all of creation will ever take us away from the love of God, which is Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. That's right. So, Jazzy, you've played on sports teams before, hockey and soccer, and I see Rufus brought his football today. What do you think it means to be on a side or to be on someone's side? You look out for each other. Like you want to be there to help out. Excellent. And in the reading we just read, we talk about God being our side. What do you think Paul meant when he said God is on our side? He, like, he wants to look out for us. Absolutely. God loves us so much and he does want to look out after, for us. He, there's nothing, as it says in, in Romans, nothing that we could do that would ever stop God from loving us. That's beautiful. Let's turn to the gospel now, a reading from the gospel of Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and John up on a high mountain. While they were there, a change came over Jesus. As they were watching him, his clothes became dazzling white whiter than anyone could ever wash them. And suddenly they saw Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Peter spoke up and said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Peter really didn't know what to say, because like James and John, he was amazed and frightened by what he was seeing. Then the shadow of a cloud came over them, and a voice came from the cloud saying, This is my beloved Son. 
listen to him. Suddenly, they didn't see Moses and Elijah anymore. They only saw Jesus. As they came down the mountain, Jesus told them not to tell anyone what they had seen until he had risen from the dead. And so they didn't. But they kept wondering what Jesus meant when he said that he would rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus. Which is what we say in the Mass, isn't it, Tess? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, wow, what a beautiful gospel where Jesus becomes dazzling white. Can you picture that in your mind, Jazzy? Jesus just dazzling white, so beautiful, portraying the love of God. Mm. So do you remember who Jesus took with him up the mountain? Peter, James, and John. Yes, he did. And what happened while they were there? Jesus' clothes just went dazzling white. Mm Mm-hmm, absolutely. And do you know what I think this is, Jess? I think this is a picture or a preview into what will happen after Jesus dies and he raises again. Do you think? (laughs) Yeah, excellent. Okay, so let's try to figure out an action that we can use to help us remember what we've learned today. Do you want to do that, Jess? (laughs) Okay, so let's close our books. And we'll do an action. So Jesus became dazzling white, right? So how can we do dazzling white? Maybe dazzling Dazzling. white. Jesus became dazzling white White. to tell us how much he he loves loves us. us. Okay, can you do that with us, boys and girls? Jesus became dazzling dazzling white to show us how much he loves us. Excellent. All right, let's end in prayer, shall we, Jess? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Jesus, we want to thank you. We want to thank you so much for bringing Jazzy to be here with us, for bringing each person joining us, each of our friends watching our video, Lord. Thank you for them. We ask you to please bring to mind and our heart over these next 40 days any time that we can give to you. Any time that we can draw closer to you, whether it's saying no to an extra treat, saying an extra prayer at night or in the morning, or just doing something kind for each other. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We ask Mother Mary to pray for us. We ask St. Joseph to pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jazzy. Thank you, Rufus. And thank you, boys and girls, for joining us for Little Church. Have a wonderful week. God bless you. Bye-bye.